Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Ben and Brandy Build a Bus here on the Remote Rambler channel. So this has been a highly requested video after we posted some pictures of our window curtains on Instagram. I had a few more to make, so I thought I would oblige with the process. Um, what's great about these curtains is that they are insulated and they're quite thick and they really truly make a huge difference in terms of weather fluctuation in the bus. So let's run through what you'll sort of need for this project. Um, first up, you'll need the insulative material. So I think a lot of people in vehicles use Reflectix, but we use a product called Warm Windows, and you can usually find this on Joann's or at Joann's, I'm sorry. Um, I will say it is not the cheapest material. So look out for one of those 30% off sales and you will be happy <laughs> that you did. Um, okay, so whenever you get this material, you will want to measure the window that you're gonna cover and you'll wanna cut this material to that exact size. And then you have your top material, which you can do any material of your choice. We personally went with a Sunbrella material because um, Sunbrella is UV resistant, water resistant, and it's just a lot more durable than like a cotton fabric. It's made for the outside. So these are things that are gonna get a lot of wear and tear. So I thought we would go with an upgraded Sunbrella material, but you can go with whatever you want. So like I said, the um, warm windows material, you wanna cut that to the exact size of your window. And then your top material or your pretty material, you wanna cut that to three inches in excess. So let's say your window is 40 inches wide, you wanna cut your top material to 43 inches. If it's 18 inches long, you wanna cut it to 21 inches. Um, so just add three inches on each of those for the seam allowance. So I will sort of stop talking now and just kind of walk you through the process. Um, I will say that however you're going to attach it, there's a few different ways. We decided to go metal grommets with hooks in the windows and leather straps. That works for us, but you could do a lot of things like snaps or tie closures. Um, but for us, we really wanted to be able to like roll it up and attach it with a leather strap. So that's our process. I'll sort of walk you through how it happens and comes together now and let us know in the comments section if you have any questions and I will try to my best to answer them. All right, so once you have cut your pieces to size, the warm windows fabric should be cut to the exact size of the window you're covering and the uh, top material should be three inches bigger width and length than your actual window. You want to take the pretty sides and match them together. So for this, this is our pretty side of the warm windows and this is our pretty side for the top piece. And you want to match those. Make sure that you're leaving, if you're going with a three inch seam allowance, make sure that you're leaving about an inch and a half on each side. What I do is I take my warm windows material, I match it up to the edge of my top material, and then I use these fancy binder clips and clip them together. I do it on this side and then on the other side as well. Let's do it. Now for this, you're gonna pull it a little bit because remember that top material is longer. So just make sure that it's kind of staying straight um, and just pull it to the edge here so that way both of the edges on either side are lined up, pretty sides facing each other. And voila, it's as easy as that. So from here, we will just stitch up this side and that side. I am not using a single fancy sewing machine or any fancy tools for this. This is the most 
basic singer tradition sewing machine. I think I got it for like 25 bucks on Facebook Marketplace. But you will probably want to get the heavy duty needles because this is a thick material that has like um, a metal layer inside of it. You will want some heavy duty um, needles to use for your foot. guys now that we have both of our first seams sewn what we want to do is we want to stick our arm inside and pull it through so now we're putting our pretty sides that were previously facing each other to the outside and you'll see it's sewn here and sewn here and that is our first two seams so from here, we will go to the ironing board. So here you can see that um, it is all together, but it's sort of puffy here. So what we wanna do is we wanna take our iron and just sort of lay those seams down. Just flatten it out. Give us a nice flat surface to work with. The next thing we'll be doing is we will take our unsewn edges here and fold the seams to make our next two lines. All right guys, now that we have ironed and flattened our seams, the original seams that we just did, um, we're going to start making our seams for the next one. So what you do is you take your edges here. This is what I do. I'm not a professional seamstress, so I'm just giving you my, <laughs> my method here. And I take my fancy binder clips um, and fold it down. I try to line this edge up with the edge of the warm material. And that's my first turn under. So I put binder clips on the edge. And then one in the middle. dandy cheap iron and press that down. Um, I guess if you don't want to do this first little press you don't have to. It just makes it easier for me. It sort of helps it stay all together so that I don't have to fight with it when I take it over to the machine. So now that that's pressed I flip it over again. I take that first Thing we had just ironed, just flip it over the edge, flip it over the edge, and flip it over the edge. If you are watching this video and you are a sewer, let me know in the comments what I could be doing better always trying to get better. Press that down. And then switch to the other side. So for me, I like to batch do things. Um, so I like to do cut all of my fabric all of my fabric at one time and then I like to do all of my first seams and then all of my ironing 
So that way I just get into a process of doing one thing and knock it out and then move on. But for you, that may not be what works best. As you can see here, I'm sort of trimming frayed edges. This material um, is our secondary material and this is not Sunbrella. This is a nice material, but it's not as nice as Sunbrella and it frays, whereas Sunbrella does not. So, just trimming that up a little bit and the same process as before. Flip it over. Clip it. And press. All right, so we have flipped, pressed, and got this hem and our second hem ready. Let's head to the sewing machine. Literally, all you're doing is four lines of stitching. That's it. That's all this whole project is. So now that we have sewn both of our sides, we are officially done. With how we are doing this, you are essentially making a square. Um, I do think that this is a project that a beginner sewer can do. Really, truly, it is just, it's just a square, you guys. Don't let this intimidate you. Here's a little tip from one beginner sewer to potentially another beginner sewer. If your lines go like this, and you can't sew straight to save your life, my tip would be to get a fabric that's quite busy. Because look here, this line, this sew line is everywhere. Let me assure you, it is 1000% not straight, but you can't tell and no one else will be able to either because I have a busy fabric. So go easy on yourself, get a busy fabric. Here are the finished curtains inside of the bus. We are so happy with how they turned out. Not only are they really useful in terms of temperature regulation, but they're completely blackout. So there's no light coming into the bus when we're trying to sleep. Um, and there's a lot of privacy. So if you have any questions about this process, please drop them in the comment section. And if you found this video useful, make sure to like and subscribe. And we will see you next week.